is Bernard Robinson. That is Shanquella Robinson's father. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm sorry that it's under these circumstances. Uh, we just had Thanksgiving, Mr. Robinson. I wonder how you and your family are doing uh, without Shanquella there with you. Um, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well at all. I just struggle every day. Um, uh, my only daughter. Uh, not doing well. It's like I said, I'm so sorry for what happened. I'm sorry that these are the circumstances under which we are talking, but uh, your goal is to get justice here. Uh, what do you think? Um, the initial explanation was that she had died of alcohol poisoning, and now we have video of her getting beaten by somebody that she traveled with. Where, where is your head as far as where this investigation is going and what happened? Good morning to America. Um, when they got to win, when they came back with that story or when her mom called me and said alcohol poison, uh, I knew it wasn't alcohol poison. So, um, it just turned my life upside down. My life had changed. Um, I asked God to show me what really happened over there in Mexico Cabo. And then I, everything began to start unfolding because I wasn't giving up. You know, I paid for her to get back over here, the lady down in the funeral home. I had to look for her that Monday morning, start looking where she was. You know, um, I ain't know nothing about no Mexico Cabo. You know, and these friends, so called friends, I want every last one of them over there. Not just one. You want every them all sent back to face to face charges or to speak oh, to a local prosecutor, right? Every last, every last one of them because, you know, my daughter, she's not a fighter. You know, I, I ain't raised her to be that, that kind of way. I raised her to love and respect people, you know. I'm a people person, you know. I try to make sure you put yourself around people that not going to do no body, body harm to you, you know, just like me, you know, uh, treat people kind, respectful, you know, I always teach her never look down on nobody, because the blink of an eye, you can be in that same position they are, you know. Well, Mr. Robinson, I understand that you didn't really know the folks that she was traveling with, uh, but had she ever mentioned any issues with them, or did you have any idea that she might be in danger traveling with these people? None of them. No, I didn't. I, I did not even know. I did not even know. I ain't never met them. I ain't never saw none of them. You know, only thing I knew, my mom told me that um they went to college with her. That's it. That's all I knew. You know, for them to do what they did, and I looked at that video. You know, I got to give. You know. I put the NCBB because he's the one who took on the story and got the story moving like it was. Because I'm, I'm old school. I don't be on Facebook, Twitter, media, n none of that. You know, I'm just behind the scenes of her life. I'm just a family man, go to work, do what I'm supposed to do, respectful man, you know, take care of my responsibility, you know. And thinking that. I was gonna see her again this weekend, the weekend that she put him, you know, went down there and then, and then they come back with that story, bringing her luggage back and not her, you know, and that said that story gonna come to her mom, her sister house and sit right there in front of them and eat their food and tell that story that it was alcohol poison, sir, and then I sit there in that funeral home and them doors open and she was in that box, you know, and I looked at her. So I saw a knot on her head, it seemed like her eye was swollen. It had a cut on the lip, you know. I didn't know it was alcohol poison. So the lady finally called me and gave me the information. But now your daughter, I said, what she died of? She said, your daughter died of a um, broken neck and a um, broken spinal cord. And I said, well, they say alcohol poison. They know, uh, know Mr. Robson. It wasn't alcohol poison in her system. Then all of a sudden, that video came out. Well, I, I am so you know, that sorry. Really, it really told me, uh, I don't know if y'all got daughters, you know, sons, but uh, for human beings, it's supposed to be your friend, you know, to do another person like that, who give them authority to take another life and come back here like it's okay, knowing she got a father that loved her greatly, been there in her life ever since she came into this world, and God blessed me with that seed. Every day is a struggle for me because 
but you know she's not here. I can't be a granddaddy, you know. Can't even walk her down the aisle. Can't hear a voice. But they can hear, they can talk to their parents, you know, for them to come back here. Sarah didn't even call me, didn't reach out to me. Ain't say, Mr. Robinson, sorry about your loss. Ain't tell me what happened. But you gonna tell that sorry story to her mom and her sister? You know, she got a father. She got a lovely father, you know. And I know for a fact it wasn't no alcohol poison because she don't roll like that. She might, you know, she drank a little, but not no alcohol poison. Mr. Mr. Robinson, I, your, your pain is very clear. Um, and I do have a son, and I, I, I cannot imagine if something like this happened to him. Um, but I do, there are folks out here that don't know Shanquella. They never met her. And I would like for you to tell the folks what they were missing, never having met her and now never having the chance. What will you miss most about Shanquella Robinson? She's a very loving child. You know, she's not perfect. But she will respect you, you know, and try to make you laugh. You know, she was just a... Uh, uh, a responsible child, you know, going person, very going, lovely kid, you know. People, it's just the whole personality, a heart. It just attract friends. She just attract friends, and some of her friends, you know, is no good to her. It's just the way she carries herself, sir. Ain't very loving and caring, you know. Well, Mr. Mr. Robinson, I know that the, the extent to which you will miss her very much comes across. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. I know this was difficult for you. But uh, I know I speak for everybody here at Morning in America and all of News Nation when we say we hope you get justice for Shanquella, your daughter. Thank you for joining us. And I just, I just want to thank everybody across this world that got a hold to this story and love and care and pray for the Robinson family because that's the only reason I'm standing and talking to you all as I am right now. You know, I'm hurting as I'm sitting here in this truck and with I'm a driver. And, you know, I pulled over to do this interview because right now I'm on my way and put a plot on her grave. You know, I, I, hope the next time I hope the next time we speak with you, you've gotten the justice that you deserve, sir. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Morning America will be right back. Thank